to what I, I think I either I asked you or started to ask you. Um, how accurate, though, now is DNA testing? Like, I remember when O.J. Simpson got locked up and they had his blood there, and they said that according to the DNA testing that was done, it was like, I don't know, 780 million to one that it wouldn't be O.J. Simpson, you know? Is there a number that you that you guys professionally use to say, yes, we are X number accurate in our DNA testing? So in the and phase... I, won't, I won't hold you to it. I'm just no, okay. I'm curious yeah. for as, as 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 a layman, as a regular guy, I'm curious, you know, how strong is this DNA yeah. evidence when it comes back positive? So it depends. It depends entirely on on the quality and quantity of the DNA and how many markers were um, were tested when they compared the DNA profiles. So I'll just say that when I submit a report to law enforcement after our piece is done, we do not give any claim to the accuracy of it. We, we say we think we this is a hypothesis, this is a candidate lead, and it has to be confirmed with some other means of investigation. 